I totally uploaded that video yesterday and for some reason YouTube hates me and said it didn't load properly or something. I just re-uploaded it earlier this morning, but it was up yesterday. Make no mistake. So this friend from my high school is doing this project and I really, really like it and you should probably check it out. It's this story and the story is called Barnaby's Atlas. So here's his description of this project. Barnaby's Atlas is a 26 week long project in which I write one chapter of the story every week. It will be messy, it will be ridiculous, and you're very welcome to join in the fun. It's just such a cool concept, like writing a chapter of a story every week and just seeing what happens. It's really awesome and so far I'm only like seven chapters in and I love it. I'm just gonna read the first chapter um, and you can, if you like it, you can click the link in the thing and if you don't like it, I'm sorry stop watching the video at any time. For the record, this is only the second time that I found myself lost in the middle of the ocean, with my only companion being a member of the opposite sex. The first time, of course, was when I was born. Circumstances are quite different this time around. I'm 19 years older, for one thing, and my companion isn't my mother, but the girl I've loved for the past three years of my life. Loved in the sense that I've never spoken to her. The other big difference is that this time, the event of being lost is completely intentional and as planned. Well, more or less. You see, I'm creating an atlas with which to document the world. Not the known world, obviously, but the out there world. That nebulous and ineffable there. See, somewhere other than here. Here, a tiny rainy town on the ocean's coast. The place where I've spent my entire life, the known world. And what a shabby, mundane little world it is. My mother raised me in a gray house in a neighborhood that only exists because of its lighthouse. Now, to be fair, it is quite the impressive lighthouse, and it is responsible for saving my life. When my mother was lost at sea with a newborn baby all those years ago, it was that lighthouse that guided her to shore. But despite such an adventurous beginning to my existence, the next, tw the next two decades proved to be unspeakably dull. I have considerable admiration for my mother. Don't misunderstand me. And I'm lucky to have had such a peaceful life and all. But now is the time for adventure. Now is the time for me to take to the unfathomable waters and see what's out there. Because there has to be something out there, right? And when I find it, I'm going to document it in my atlas. My atlas. A small, dark blue book in which I'm going to write down all the findings of my escapade. My captain's log. After my death, which will certainly be untimely, it will be found floating in a foggy green bottle on some exotic shore, far away from here. Now, my intent was to set sail on this voyage alone, with nothing but the cruel and merciless wind for my solace, because it has to be dramatic. But the first thing I'm learning about adventure is that you don't get exactly what you think you're going to get. Even with the most detailed, painstakingly made plans, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Scoob Barnaby, and I'm afraid I'm in way over my head. I'm just gonna read you the title of the next chapter just to uh, leave you wanting more. I guess, yeah. The next chapter is entitled The Bee is for Bicycles, or Why I'm Glad You Can Get Severely Injured on One. And it's really good. Of the couple chapters that I've read, so far I really like the first chapter, A is for Adventure, um, C is for Canary, and F is for Fierce. If you just wanna skip ahead or like don't care about reading things in order, then you should definitely check out C is for Canary and F is for Fierce because they're probably some of my favorite chapters so far. And he's not even done with the project and I'm not even up to the point where he's stopped writing. The next chapter, he's on letter O. So the next chapter is going to be on letter O and that will be up Sunday, April 25th. Wait, Sunday, April 25th, that's tomorrow. So yeah, so it'll be up tomorrow, and I'm really excited, so that'll be cool. You should really, really, really consider checking this out. Like I said, the link will be in the thing. So I really like it, and you should check it out, and if you don't, I will hate you forever. Just kidding, I won't, but I'll be sad. And I think um, if everything works out as I've had it planned and everything goes according to schedule, that I might probably, maybe, maybe, possibly, maybe, I'm not entirely sure on this yet, but I'm just gonna say it and we'll see what happens, but I think I might see you tomorrow. I have considerable admiration for my, for my mother. I have considerable admir- Ugh. Now is the time for me to take to the unfathom- Ugh. Now is the time for me to take to the unfathomable- Ugh. The most- oh. oh, oh, I see, okay. Isn't that awesome? Ugh, I just love it.